hello. So it's Linda here of Lady and the Frogs. Yes, I am still alive. Um, so here we are in the storeroom. It's Monday. It's late Monday morning. Um, I've let myself have a sleep in because, as you can probably hear, I am really congested and I'm ill. <laughs> so I've been ill now for over a week. It's been about a week and a half, actually. Um, so I first felt it the previous weekend when I start, when I was at work. So I, know, I, know, I remember some customers muttering about being ill and now I've got this rotten cold. <laughs> um, I have, I've still been going to the job. Admittedly, my last two shifts, I have been quite lazy and I've got on, got on. <laughs> I had to drive it. It wasn't a bus. <laughs> yeah, I took my, I took the car because my husband wasn't using it. So I had a shift on Friday. Is that right? Yeah, a shift on Friday and a shift on Sunday, which I've struggled through because I feel really, really congested. It's on my chest. I'm coughing up phlegm um infectious phlegm and i've got bad asthma but i'm still here this is the whole point of having part-time work because it it's not going to put the strain on me that a full-time job used to do <sighs> but anyway i'm still knackered i'm still annoyed um i'm hoping i'm on the tail end of it but i don't know i mean like i say I mean, it is a week and a half and I've just, I was looking back because I did start doing a video last week and I realised that I did actually start vil filming that video on the Monday. So I know that I was feeling garbage then and I know that I'd already had it for a, about three days then, so I know it's been a week and a half. Uh, so there we go, that's my situation. It's not the best situation, is it? <laughs> I go back into the real world and this happens. Um... I know that effectively I've probably been shielding since the start of the pandemic because I've been working from home and this is the first job that I've had since February 2020 because that's when I lost my job and then obviously we were in lockdown and all these other things and then I got used to working from home. Um, so when the bug found me, the bug found me. I've had other colds because my husband has been working. He was working throughout lockdown so... I've had bugs and I had COVID in 2020. So it's not like I've been free of germs. It's just, I don't think this is anything other than a cold, but they're super cold now. <coughs> so my plans for today, I have post that I've got to do. I was doing quite well. So last Monday when I was doing a video, I was doing a Lego video. So that will sort of appear at some point. But I knew I was feeling rough, so I just sat and I just sorted Lego. But I was also doing listing, and I'd sort of I'd scheduled myself quite a lot for Monday to Thursday. But then, as I got iller, I haven't really done any listing. So I know that although I scheduled myself ahead, it all went to pot by the end of the week. So although I've not got many listings going live, um, I am still making the sales. Um, and I will get paid monthly on my job, so. It's probably just while I'm still making sales. And, you know, I'm on top of things. I've remembered to get my packaging because this was something I realised I should have bought um, on my previous packaging because that was running out. So I've started... Because my packaging voucher goes by Hermes now, I've decided, based on the fact that I'm over working next to an Argos in Sainsbury's I'll get my stuff posted I'll get, I'll get my stuff sent click and collect because if I'm not here I just because I'm not potentially not here for like the time when they would come and deliver four days a week I just I can't risk use I can't risk Hermes so I've now I've now done two click and collects and it's worked okay so I need to go here. I need to sort that out. So that's where all my packaging, all my poly bags go. Um, I suspect I'm probably short on that and I need to order 
ink cartridge black ink cartridge because running out of that will really annoy me <laughs> that's one of those things that i know that I, I know that i changed it last week and i haven't done anything about it but anyway bleary headed i've got to pull some posts now so i will now pull my post and show you what i've done what i've sold since friday lunch it was a, a afternoon one night shift i did on friday and as i was going two things were paid for but it was just like if i'd stopped to pack them i would have been late for work so this is from like half one onwards from friday sales so let's pull everything okay pulled everything took me ages to find one pair of jeans i th I was really starting to panic that just slid down I knew I, I mean the thing is is I stock take quite re regularly but things still go missing and so I'm gonna have to do another stock take just for peace of mind uh, yeah so I've ended up having to strip off because I put the heating on and then of course because I'm in here moving boxes and because I don't feel very well I just ended up all <coughs> stressed out with it. Ah, oh. it's one of them, you know, where you just like appreciate every moment that you're not feeling like this. Oh, but I don't all blow over. I'm just so tired. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? It's just like, oh. and I'm not okay with having a cold because been a while anyway i have little lego sets so most of this is space yeah most of it is space this is this is why i like the space sets because they go really quickly so 11 pound for that i've just recently sold one just like that future on classic space from the mid 80s um 80s again this is Mtron, that one's gone for $11.99. It is just a little buggy. This one has sold for £7 because it has got a floor with it. It's got a split on the um, the helmet. The words which escape you when you're ill. So this is just like a little droid thing and it's not much Lego on it. But again, I think that's like 1979. Um so that's the classic space theme and this one is called galaxy trekker uh, which is just a little spaceship with space minifigure and i think that one sold for 11 pounds again it's all sort of like offers sent offers received which i've just agreed to <coughs> and then these which have just been like a little thing so this is this is the modern stuff which i don't tend to pick up but this has been sat with it's just been sat in my sort of like spares so it had been listed for a bit so that's just um a female and a male sort of like mini micro figures um which people i think they use them for like wedding favors or something like that um but you can tell just how small they are if you compare them to like the normal minifigure but anyway, yeah, that sold. Somebody sent me off of like two pound thirty for that, so I took that because obviously that'll definitely go large letter, if not letter size. Oh, why is it so draining having a cold? It's all the fluid. <clears throat> so this, I think this person bought this on like Wednesday, and they didn't pay for it and. I've had a few airmail sales because I do my own airmail. I don't, I'm not the, I'm not a, a GSP type of person. Although I suspect that it's probably going to be the same service which is being used for airmail items. So anyway, this is going to America. This is going to New York. Um, well, it would be because it's Patricia Field, um, the uh, costume designer or a wardrobe something or other for um sex and city so 
this was mine but you know it's cropped and I, although I've sort of like been wearing it around the house it's just ridiculous and I, if I'm going to wear a jumper I'm going to wear a jumper not a cropped little thing it makes my belly hang out this has gone for dead cheap and I have declared on there that some of these rhinestones are missing photographed it really well so they probably didn't look at that whatsoever but it's gone for 11 pounds and obviously um it's going airmail i'm having to buy my airmails um online that's um it is it is available to consumers as well as business sellers i think so um i'm just purchasing them via ebay which you know it's okay but you get a little they sort of fill in the, the customs declaration as well so you can sort of like chuck that on this is the thing that i couldn't find which i was raking around for for ages now i have had these for a bloody long time it feels like something in the pocket i don't think so it's because they're so rhinestony so um true religion really rhinestony misty pave these were called which sounds like somebody who you go and watch on canal street misty pave and they probably talk like a voice like this so anyway um yeah true religion jeans you think true religion jeans did better they're like jet black as well that's why i was like freaking out when i couldn't find it because i pulled out every pair of jet black jeans that i had um but because they're like a 26 or something that like totally slipped down because i've had them for uh, probably well over a year <coughs> they were just stuck in the box um did I, I accepted 15 for them i am doing a lot of clearing out and i am accepting a lot of offers because the whole thing as well with me going back to work is i want to work on lego the lego is here i would like to cut back these boxes and i do have like various empty boxes and it would be nice to sort of like claw back a bit of the space in this room um and focus on the lego but we will see um, if we get there. Um, at the moment, I don't really have the buying power to. Well, I if it, if the if the Lego job lots that I bid on go cheap, like the one that I was videoing last week was a twenty pound job lot, um, which I bought because I knew one of the sets in there I could get at least fifty four, which I have listed for sixty five because I'm just being like crazy because it's very rare. So if I'm getting Lego job lots for £20, then that's fine. But sometimes if anybody mentions the words pirates, space or anything in there, if they like, you know, if anybody is listing their job lots and then they go, oh, yeah, I've definitely got a space figure. And then they just happen to mention that it attracts more people to listing and you have to bid quite high. For example, one of the ones which I bid on um, a couple of weeks back, it did have some really good stuff on it and you know I probably could have easily got 500 to a thousand return on it if everything was there but it wasn't really you know when you're looking at a job lot you don't know if it's all there and most for the most part it isn't and I have to raid my spares for my Lego to, to fulfill these sets um, but other people were on the listing I was working that afternoon so I just put a con my con my bid in which was £220, which I know sounds ridiculous, but, you know, I was thinking there's at least 500 in there, if not 1,000. So I put this bid in of 220 and it ended up finishing at 250 um, probably more like 280 or something like that. It, it, it was just a wild auction. Um, and there's a lot of auctions with the Lego that if they mention the word pirate, space, castle... The, the the it's attracting the people and it's really hard to get a decent um a decent bundle so that's another one of the reasons why it, it, you know i just i want to sort of like improve my financial situation before i start like buying loads of job lots of lego um obviously i am able to like pick little bits of clothing up um because i am working in a charity shop and i, I am seeing things but I'm not actively sourcing while I'm at work because, you know, I'll end up getting stuck. <laughs> it just won't go down well. And it and it and it's you know, it's it's just not right because I'm a business seller. So 
I have sort of like done a bit of sourcing outside my shifts, but my sourcing time used to be in the mornings and it's not it's not great at the minute. And and they have said that I'm not allowed to pick from the back, which I know a lot of people probably think that that's what people are allowed to do. Other people seem to be allowed to do it, but not me, um, because I know I'm a business seller and I'm trying not to rock the boat. Anyway, so that's the situation. Anyway, <laughs> the upshot of it is, is I am trying to sell through a lot of stuff and I am accepting offers because why the hell not? When I'm picking stuff up for like two or three pounds, which this would be like a three pound um, item. This is a linen a jumper. You know, so yeah, early spring, this would probably fetch slightly more money, but never mind. I've got 15 pounds for that. It's fat face. I'll find more stuff like this. There's, you know, when you're making money on something, there's no harm in, in accepting a job lot, uh, accepting a, an offer. <laughs> anyway, this is something I've accepted an offer on this. Um, I hoped to get a whole lot more for this. Some people seem to be getting some really wild prices for their sweater shop stuff. I was so thrilled when I found this because I haven't seen it in so long. So sweater shop. Um, obviously, it doesn't have the spell out on the front, but I thought it was okay because it had like the, you know, diamond argyle or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's in pretty good condition, no holes. Um, but I only got 20, well, the offer came in at 25. I had it initially listed for 40. I just had no interest at the 40 mark. I dropped it to 30. I got this offer of 25 last night and I took it because let's face it. Yes, it's January. Yes, it's February. <coughs> but it'll soon warm up and we'll, and we'll be a distant memory wearing jumpers and hats and all of this garb and we'll be moaning about how hot it is very soon case in point i've had the heating on for 10 minutes this morning and ended up pouring with sweat very quickly this dress i've had for ages i really like this how fab is that you know i just i absolutely love it absolutely love this um, it's by it's by a no name brand and I wouldn't pick this brand up again. Fussy Cat London. Um, I think I have seen stuff as well, which is just as good. But it's woolen. Um, I've had it since the dawn of time. I picked up two dresses. One had bunny rabbits on, which naturally sold um, around Easter last year. So that's how long I've had this. I've had it for over a year, probably a year and a half. Um, I've accepted eleven pound for that. um this sold for 20 so that sold last night i have got another one of these I'll, I, i'm quite patient waiting for these and i suppose the thing is is that t-shirts t-shirts fly out of the door in the, in the summer and they don't so much now so this is i'm gonna butcher it hush camille <laughs> i know his name and i can never remember it uh anyway it's the wave <coughs> by it <laughs> the guy does the Fuji mountain painting. Thirty pounds for that. It's a Uniqlo collaboration with a Museum of Art. Um, they're they're pretty much worth picking up most of them. Um, yeah, like I say, I've got another one. There is actually one sale at the charity shop that I work at, but it's cracked print. So I haven't bought that, and nobody else has either. <laughs> and then the last thing I've got is. Um, yes, a fat face top, a fat face top, long sleeve. Oh, and look, what's this? Oh, this is a white stuff. A white stuff, long sleeve top. They're both auctions, which have gone for maiden bid of ten pounds, <coughs> which doesn't matter when I'm buying it for three. Um, I just like to have those things ticking over, and that's everything. I do have stuff which hasn't been paid for. Obviously, I've sold loads of stuff last week as well, which I haven't mentioned. I'm just, I'm sort of like getting two or three sales a day. It's not great. Um, if anybody is thinking about like getting themselves a part-time job, it is worth it, I think. Um, because I'm not, I'm, I, with the with sales not being great at the minute, I would be freaking out. But um, I'm not because I know that I've got money coming. 
and I know that I've got this little bit of fixed income now and I just think it does a, the world a good for your peace of mind obviously not for your health um, and I've struggled to find time listing but then saying that when I was feeling rough on the Monday and I was sat down and I did get a lot of stuff scheduled and I did get a lot of stuff sorted on the Monday then I worked on Tuesday <clears throat> I did a little bit of work on the Wednesday but then I think I did try and like relax because I knew I had another two days at work and I was trying to get rid of my cold um unsuccessfully um so I have I've taken my foot off the gas with listing based on time um schedule and um being ill but i know that i know that i'm going to find a way of doing it because i know i know what i nearly achieved on monday and I, i've written it all in my diary what i'd scheduled and what i'd sorted out and everything would have been great if i hadn't been ill so i'm going to get there anyway i'm going to do this post and then I've, i'm going to shoot up to the other big charity shop um yeah the other one because the one that i work at so let's get this right i work at the the three two one store <laughs> <coughs> yeah um and this the other one is the bernardo's so when i go up to the bernardo's i want to get the canned goods from the food warehouse do that little run i don't really like going out it's like going to be past midday now by the time I go that way I've got to do today because I don't know if my husband's going to need the car for the rest of the week so I do need to go um and obviously I probably need to try and like pick something up for Valentine's Day as well so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to see what they've got up there get the canned goods because I was ill I've uh, being ill I've had a lot of soup so I do need to stock back up on this on the cans of soup so that's the quest so I'm going to crack on Okay, I'm back from my travels. I'm still sniffy, but, you know, I do feel a lot better once I go out, 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 just, just outside, just doing things. So the first random thing which I've got, which I'm going to just immediately stick in the freezer because this is frozen pizza, and then I've been around other shops, so these will be defrosting fast. <laughs> I know it's like really random, and I just wanted to get it just to be in our bed. <laughs> there is a couple holding pizzas. <laughs> Which I know they're probably going to taste gross. <laughs> Big sexy meat one. And. Big sexy cheesy one. Right so they're going in the freezer. Okay, so places where I've been, I ended up in Audi because I made the mistake of going in to Marks and Spencers. And I've, I, I mean, the places, I, at one point I thought Marks and Spencers were in trouble and strife, frankly. So the prices that they've got going on in there, they said that their clothes, their clothes area was like, not very good and the only thing that was popping up was the food thing and I used to go in the food hall a lot and every time I don't think I've bought anything from the food hall in at least six months I think maybe I did pick some bits up in the summer last year but generally it just annoys me when I go in there because they're off the tree um and now they've got an algae next door at White City which is um up near Old Trafford uh, so, when I saw the price of their Greek yogurt, their Greek yogurt was something like two pounds ten. I think it was like one pound eighty for this size, and it just annoyed me. So I went next door, and I never go in Aldi because I can never get everything that I need in there. So this yogurt, so bearing in mind one pound eighty, you know, or maybe I'm being overzealous. Maybe it was one sixty. Now it's one eighty. For this size Greek yogurt, full fat, so this was 85p in Audi. I mean, 
it's it's yogurt I, 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 i'll eat i'll eat loads of that i'll probably open that now and eat that because i'm just i feel like i'm craving it and i'm eating a lot of it since i've been ill it's just one of these things i do and their coleslaw their coleslaw would, would look disgusting um it was four pounds in um marks and spencers and they can go swivel for that so that was 99p and it's i swear to god it's probably made in the same factory so they can jam it i also looked at their green teas and they didn't look so bad they didn't look they didn't look good so i ended up getting that from audi the diplomat um 90, 59p if this these are the prices that sit well with me but then i got some dips because obviously it's valentine's day tomorrow and who doesn't like some dips to have with crisps we needed olive oil anyway and olive oil um i mean you always spend a decent amount on that but that was 3.99 yeah i can i can see why people go in audi i sound like i'm an ambassador for them however um they were four pounds in audi and you can get three this is a pack of four and you get three packs of four for ten pounds in the food warehouse aka iceland so obviously i've done that I always go and get my canned stuff. I've got a whole big tray of Pepsi. So you get a big tray of Pepsi. The cans. Because, you know, if we have a bottle, you know, you have like a two litre bottle or, you know, 1.5. You have one glass of it and it's already like not very fizzy. And then when you come round to it, the rest of it's gone flat. So we tend to get cans so that we can just have cans. So they do a 24 pack of Pepsi in there for £11. Which I think is great. That's why we go in there. Um, the Lewis Capaldi pizza with four pounds. That that probably is too much. And, and then something else which I did get. Which I didn't see any of these around Christmas. And I do like these. So this is something obviously for Valentine's Day. This was 3 99 but it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> so can and bear with, you know thingy in the middle so you melt so it's always nice to have that it's heart shaped which probably just means that you get less <laughs> but never mind right so that's what i got today so i must put these things in the fridge i think that's the majority of the stuff that was on my list i think i needed margarine and i haven't got that but never mind i don't i don't think it's that bad um I think that's it. I was quite astonished when I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items at Aldi and it came in at eleven ninety nine. Um but you know it didn't used to cost that, you know, once upon a time, so I shouldn't be like thrilled that everything's costing more much more money now. Oh, so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go and eat my yogurt and get on with some listing probably because that's the crucial thing which needs to be done. I have stuff here which I need to do a whole video on, really. I've got stuff which has been photographed, which you can't see, which is probably just a good job that you can't see it. That That isn't Budweiser in there. It's got books in it. So they need photographing. Um, I'm not in work tomorrow, so we'll see about that. And then I'm on afternoons, uh, Thursday, Friday, I think. So we'll see where we get. And now I'm going to start sneezing. So um, that's me done for this video. Thank you for watching. I need to go and have my sneezing fit. And I will be back for more. Sorry about the break, but it's just illness. Speaking like this, you just don't feel like doing it. And I'm, you know, surviving and getting on. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.